Hey guys, what's going on? This is Pro Wrestling 101. I'm Just Incredible. And here with me is a former running mate, an impact player, and an old colleague of mine, uh, ECW original. And, you know, I've known him since the WWF in the 90s. A uh, good friend, Jason Knight. Jason, we've seen it all. We've done it all in the business. Um, you know, pretty much, uh, you know, I want to kind of get your opinion on, you know, for the good young guys trying to get in right now, like, the respect thing something that we had to you know when we were coming up man there was we were brought up broken in as they say it said then listen to just the term broken in you know um old school you know and uh, kind of you know what do you what are your feelings on respect in the business and kind of how unfortunately a lot of the locker rooms and the kids coming up today have broken away from that you know uh in 1977 i found a wrestling gym and I trained there for a few years, and we did small little club shows and what have you, you know. I wanted to get licensed. Now, little did I know that, you know, you needed someone with, that commands respect in the business in order to actually give you that letter of recommendation right. so that you would go to the New, uh, New York or New Jersey State, State Athletic Commission and actually uh, get licensed to be a professional wrestler. Well, I found Johnny Rods, and... Uh, as I watched him as a kid on television, you know, doing what he did, an incredible wrestler and everything, and always, you know, they say a oh, mid-card or whatever. Later on, as uh, the years went by, you know, I met a lot of wrestlers, you know, that are on top, including Dusty Rhodes. You know, they were like, oh, Johnny Rods, man, let me tell you something, you know. We all had... See, the thing is, um, back in the day when you say broken into, you know, thankfully I never really got broken into you know, but I got bent into it. Uh, meaning that I never showed the level of disrespect. I mean, I knew from the very beginning, you know, pretty much, you know, thankfully I opened my eyes, you know, stepped back and looked at the big picture and kept my ears open and my mouth shut, you know. Now, the thing is that, um, you know, homework is a very, very important thing to do if you want to become a professional wrestler, you know. Uh, I I will never by any means put down what I uh, well I haven't seen wrestling on TV in a long time, but you know what they what they try to uh, pass off as wrestling on TV. You know, uh, I'm not putting it down. It's not what it used to be. Uh, the whole thing is that the young generation needs to go backwards and watch guys like. Uh, Killer Carl Cox back in the day, and Eddie Graham, Mike Graham, Steve Kern, we're talking, you know, Purple Haze and Kevin Sullivan, and you know, the old, I mean, uh, uh, Dusty, those guys, the Funks. These are the men that paved the business for us. They paved the road that which we walk upon. And guys before that, you know, Gotch and them, you know, they paved it for them, you know, which in turn, you know, here we are today. Now, you know, I've been doing this for, you know, something over 30 years now. So uh, it's, it's a hell of a lot longer than five or 10. Yeah. And what I see is that um, a lot of the young wrestlers today, and yet, you know, young meaning, you know, um, under 20 or 15 years in the business, yeah. to me, they're young, yeah. you know. And um, the younger generation, under, 15 or 20 years have absolutely no clue on how to um, not all but many how to behave in a locker room how to uh, behave around your elders and even just to ask excuse me who the fuck is that guy yeah. over there you know, even, you know something like, that nobody excuse yeah, me no no just something as simple that nobody does is wipe their feet when they go it's, into the ring they go in the, the ring, ring is your exactly. you know what i mean exactly. uh, it's just sure. little things yeah, yeah. The, the respect level for the business yeah you know they 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 walk in you know they pass wind they uh they talk shit they you know they smoke they burp they it, you know um professional wrestling is not ballet i mean we all know that but you know a certain level of respect in class would be I, back in the day the way that they behaved in the locker room you know i i mean i grew uh, uh when i broke in and started you know the wcw and everything i walk into a locker room there's arn anderson and rick flair and the freebirds and these guys in the midnight express you know and these men you know they're men all men in the yard wide as they would say but they're gentlemen 
I mean, they, you know, even the way they joke, even the dirty jokes and everything, everything it had, uh, it, it had a touch of class. class yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, DiBiase, all those guys. I mean, businessmen. Businessmen, it's exactly. Business you know, kids. <laughs> I mean, you, you know, I, I saw these guys and they had so much fun. They had so much fun. But they were gentlemen at the same time. You know, I mean, uh, er, you know, there, there, there was a certain order in the way they kept their gear. Uh, it, it, there was a certain order in, you know, I mean, for Ric Flair to walk up and say, Excuse me, young man, is this your chair? And not just grab the damn chair and you know i mean that you know i will never forget that uh those are my first impressions of the true professionals you know and what i'm telling you right now is you know you can't just walk in and you know off the street you know uh, uh pretty much you know around the corner from your job in a gas station you know and, and walk in and behave the same way i don't care if all after if all from the morning till the afternoon you worked at a gas station uh pizza parlor anywhere but once you walk in through the doors of that locker room, you're a professional wrestler and you behave like one. Meaning, everything goes right along with it, you know. Meaning the way, the way you, uh, the way you uh, groom yourself, the way you carry yourself, the way you dress, um, the way you train, train, working out, yeah. training. Know what that is? Training, working out, gym, <laughs> cardio. Weights, yeah. in the ring work, not just walking in and, you know, putting on a pair of shorts and wrestling, you know. And I'm not trying to put anyone down, but I see too much of that. And, you know, and that is so disrespectful to our business. And, you know, some of us, like him and I, we're still here to stay, you know, and uh, God willing, you know. And when we see this, it just turns us off to the business. And then everyone says, oh, you're jaded, you know. No, I'm not jaded, you know. It's just that when I see something that is so distaste, uh, distasteful, it, it irks me, you know. And, uh, you know, the whole internet thing. And it was, Stop being Marx. Stop it, okay. I mean, it's like enough, enough already, you know. If you want to be a wrestler, behave like a wrestler. If you want to post, post as a, like a wrestler, not like a friggin' Mark, like a baby, like a couch potato, you know? Just all things combined, you know, I, I, I don't even know what else. And, you know, get as much in-ring time as you can. You pay for, uh, for a wrestling school, go there, train. I still do it. I still do it. I still try to find a ring, you know, and uh, go, you know, roll around and, you know, do all my basics. Your basics can never, ever be good enough. The way you lock up, the way you hit the ropes, the way you bump the weight, you know what I'm talking about, you know? The, the, the way you walk, the way you look, the way, the, the way you cut a promo. I mean, all these things are so important and it all falls under the umbrella of respect for the business. For business yeah. Exactly, you know? And, uh, and next time you're in a locker room, ask around i mean who the fuck is that guy over there it may be somebody you know and it's like uh i, I personally don't care because i don't have an ego and i don't get my feelings hurt i just laugh at the people that walk by yeah. you know and even ask you a stupid question you know and then later on come in hey, hey bro you know because someone said hey wait a minute you know that guy is blah 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 you know exactly you know and then i'm just laughing because it's like you know i'm not saying you need to know but if you introduce yourself to me I will tell you why. <laughs> and basically, you know, we're sharing the locker room, you know. I can keep it clean, you know, keep it, you know, keep it the way it's supposed to be. You know, don't just walk in like, you know, uh, like you're walking into a friggin', I don't know, a pigsty, you know. Awesome. So, awesome, yeah. Bro. I'm just saying, you know, that all of that falls under the umbrella of uh, respect for professional wrestling. Yeah. But first, you have, you have to have self respect. And then, you show it to others. I couldn't have said it better myself. You know, you and I come from a very same, very similar era, sim similar school, and uh, I agree with most of what you just said, very eloquently put. And guys, listen, man. This business was handed down to us by the greats. We need to preserve it. It's our responsibility to pass this on better than, you know, we got it. And, you know, I, it's, it's arguably being done. So, guys, this is Pro Wrestling 101. This is Jason Knight. I'm just incredible. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.